Now, people in Kerala, it would seem, cannot make up their mind about Prime Minister Narendra Modi after a college in Trishur district, district included him in a list of most cruel people in the world. Now, a magazine which is funded by the United Christian Congregations has hailed him as a disciple of Jesus Christ. In fact, the article is titled, Karta Vinte Dasanaya Narendra Modi, which translates into Narendra Modi, Jesus Christ's disciple. In fact, now I can go across to my colleague Rohini Swami, who joins me from Bangalore. Now, Rohini, the church has been known traditionally close to both uh, the UDF and, of course, different factions, uh, different factions of the UDF and the Congress in particular. Is this, therefore, to be interpreted as an attempt by the church, by different Christian organizations, to get close to Narendra Modi and the BJP? party but uh, this particular editorial has given a different turn it's interesting also when we've been speaking to political parties in Kerala the opposition for that matter has been saying that there are certain parts of the of the church certain sections of the church who are what they say opportunistic in terms of they will toe the line of that party which is in power interesting we also know how Narendra Modi while he was campaigning for the local elections in Kerala, had also visited and spoken to some of the cardinals in Kerala. So this could be looked as what the opposition and some of the political parties say, opportunistic politics. Right, uh, Rohini, how is the BJP reacting to uh, something like this? Is it more amused or is it obviously very happy that this kind of a development is taking place? Well, whatever they, are, they feel at this point of time, they're extremely tight-lipped about it. We are, our repeated efforts to get in touch with uh, the, the party in Kerala has proved futile. But the simple reason is that uh, they do not want to make any comments on that. But this article, this editorial speaks for itself. It, that one line that says that it was God's will to make Narendra Modi the Prime Minister and the church also supports it, very clearly shows how this has been tilted towards the BJP. And the BJP surely would be happy with this kind of an editorial.